Oh, wow, I'm over here. Okay, let me see how much I have. Oh, that's right, I was working on uh, Ivasaur. He's at 41, jeez. 50, 50, 50, like everybody else is at 50. Oh, and by the way, I have a little surprise. Yeah. I caught this bastard. Yes, I caught an Articuno. Catching Articuno or any of the legendary birds, I didn't know about this until, like, during the off stream. That if you want to try to catch it, you have to, like, paralyze it or freeze it or something that keeps it stunned. And apparently when I found out, I was like, oh, so you have to paralyze it. And then I go to throw the Pokeball. And I shit you not, it says, oh, you missed. I'm like, how the fuck can you miss? Is your character fucking stupid or something? So when I paralyzed it, it still did that. And then I was told, oh, yeah, paral uh, paralysis has the least amount of has the least effect in catching, um, you know, trying to catch one of the legendary birds. I'm like, now you fucking tell me. This is like literally the only option I have. Because I otherwise do not know how else to try to. So that bird has to show whatever finally like after spam throwing my uh my freaking up uh, uh what is it ultra balls make it drain this bastard finally i like to see it get caught and i was like oh wait hold on i see something and then it was caught i'm like yes holy crap that could have saved me a fucking headache so regardless i caught uh, articuno and i decided to name it keyframe because blue's her favorite color Right now, it doesn't have that many moves. It's got, like, two moves, which are effective moves. I mean, one of which is an Ice Beam, for Christ's sake. Um, something else that I tried to do when grinding my Pokemon is that I wanted to gain as many coins as possible and get a TM. Uh, the teaches Hyper Beam. And I don't know. Is it worth it to... Fuck it. Just do it. Yeah, because uh, cause I really like the move Hyper Beam. Uh, I remember when I was a kid, I loved how epic the presentation was. Like, it shoots in this, like, negative uh, color. And the sound it makes is just like, holy shit. If it is an Articuna Moltres, it's another hard one to catch because you have to navigate Victory Road, which requires a lot of rock. Yeah, no, I know what you mean. There's going to be a little bit of that. Um, Krabby? You're about to be... You're about to be a, a, a gourmet dish? I don't know. Sometimes I'm not good at puns. Well, Krabby's dead. Alright. <clears throat> Actually, let me first fly to Cinnabar Island, and then I'll go to Viridian City. Crabby got f fired. Now he's suddenly one crab re Rangoon. <laughs> you know, every time I think of crabs now, I think about that fucking competition Solar had with the Unirab at BronyCon. Like, I wasn't there when it happened, but I have seen the clips. And it's fucking hilarious that they're on a racing game of finishing crabs. Like, they pull out a fucking hammer, they bang the shell to break it open. It's It's funny. Oh, um, items. Let's see. Two hyper potions. Um, I'm making 10 the maximum number for all these. Let's see. Max relief. I might save those ultra balls for something. I'm saving the elixir. I'm saving the full restore. Uh, rare candy. Coin case. Yeah, I was trying to save up on all the coins to get the TM15, but dear God, it's fucking expensive. Even if you were to try to pay to get all the, uh, the freaking, um, the, what is it called? The fucking coins itself. Anyway, I should go to the Pokemon Marked. 
like i don't want to spend all the yen because i may need that for like you know other resources but if i like exhaust all that just to get you know all the coins and get the tm where else are you going to get money because you mostly get money and uh you get you get, your currency goes up from pokemon battles i don't need any of the balls hyper potion Max repel, escape rope, full heal. Yeah. I know that there's going to be possibly more grinding. Um, see, I saw that I'm mad. I didn't know about that restaurant. I missed the Maryland Crabs. Oh, sorry. I got to focus on the, the fucking game. <laughs> uh, 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 pardon me. Earlier today... Um, Keyframe actually cooked something that's um, that's actually healthy because for the past like week or so we've been surviving off of fast food, given how bad the, um, our finances like suddenly came to. Like it wasn't severely bad. I was able to budget my paychecks and make sure that bills were taken care of. But as far as food was concerned, it was it was working with whatever we had left in the kitchen. You know. Um, but finally, uh, we got actual, like, chicken breast, and she mixed it up with some veggies and uh, brown rice. You know, it's good to have those. All right. I had to go with what I got, because I got to finish this fucking game. I'm fairly confident I'll be able to finish it. And in the meantime, I just realized I got to start the call. <laughs> Alright. <clears throat> What's behind here? Uh, no, 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 no. Um, that's who it was. It was voice. Okay. Alright. Yawn. I must have dozed off in the sun. Where does this TM come from? This is spooky. Here, you can have this. Huh. Okay. TM42. What does this teach? Let's go all the way down. Dream Eater? Um. Okay. That, I think that's something for a ghost type to have, or whoever it is who likes to put your ass to sleep. Wait, wasn't there a hidden item behind here? No? Okay. Also, yes, I know about the duplication trick. I am not going to use that because that's just plain cheating. Oh, wait. What kind of Pokemon do they have in here? Alright. Pokemon. You okay? Yeah. You want me to turn the light on so you're not sitting in the darkness? You know what? Yeah, thank you. Okay. I gotta sneeze. Don't know what to do. Chat, tell me, should I get Buffalo Wild Wings or Wendy's? You decide my fate, and probably the fate of the bathroom later. <laughs> Have this brick tiles getting. Giving me vibes of when I was at Celadon City. Okay, two people are saying B dubs. Oh. Okay then. Well, I'm I'm waiting. No, not that. Um, apparently I was down this area and it led me to absolutely nowhere. Pfft, first step I take in, a wild Pokemon encounter. Okay, so Buffalo Wild Wings, Buffalo. A lot of people are saying Buffalo. That is definitely one to spend extra money on because that is the pricey one. That is the bougie one. Yeah, but you know what? It's good. Yeah, it's money well spent. I mean, the thing is, with Wendy's, I was just going to get a bunch of nuggies. So, I mean, Buffalo Wild Wings are basically oh. fancy nuggies. All right, well, time to face my rival. <laughs> yeah. Wait, what did you name your rival? Solar. Oh. And I named my Pokemon um, after the, uh, the other uh, close friends we have. Uh, I like that that Pikachu looks like it's seen some shit. 
Like, it just has a blank thousand yard stare. <laughs> is there a Pokemon named after me? Yes. Which, what is it? I told you the other night. I didn't hear it. Well, uh, give me a second. I'll show you the, um... Oh, he needs some serious training here. Um, actually, he, he has somewhat of an advantage. Uh, ground or weak to uh, grass. Anyway. There I'm you. a bird! Did you make me a... It's Articuno. Oh, okay. I'm fine with that. Yeah. I would have... I would have personally picked an Eevee, but... Okay. I don't I... think... Like, Eevee can't be found in this game. Eevee's not in Pokemon Yellow? Not that I know of. That's what I thought. Eevee's in the original 150, so... I know that he's in the original 150. Like, you can get him in Pokemon uh, Yellow and Blue, but I don't know if he was able to be... Um... Well, I guess you'll find out one day, but till then, I am a pretty, pretty bird. Even okay. then, like, I was going to save that, uh, save Eevee uh, for um, Sama. Hungry Sama. Hmm. Okay, oh, well, apparently, yes, Eevee can be found in Celadon. Wait, Birch says that there is an Eevee in Celadon. Oh. Yeah, so Nick. Anyway, I'm going to go order Buffalo Wild Wings. Have fun with your game. I hope you die. Hmm. Bye, chat. Give me a fucking poison sting. Okay, good. It was a one-hit kill. For a second there, I was gonna be like, oh, fuck. <sighs> Damn. Oh, you bet your ass you grew to level 42. That was a lot. Execute. Um, I think that's a, both grass and psychic. It's a bunch of fucking eggshells. Here! I'm gonna dice you up into scrambled eggs. Okay, that did not have much effect. Of course it didn't fucking affect me. Because I saw that execute like grew into what looks like a tree. That's what gave me the impression that it was a grass type. Let's see. All right. Well, time to test the uh, waters of Articuno. Oh fucking hell! Really? Fucking piss off. Cloister. That's, um... That's a water type. Uh, so Jesse wants to join the call. Alright. Fucking... I gotta keep this occupied. Here we go. Thunderbolt. There, I'll keep it occupied. Where's... Fucking hell. There we go. <coughs> there we go! <laughs> Jedi Padawan, thank you for hosting. Yeah. Alright, so Magneton. No, oh. not Firebrand! God damn it, I meant to... I meant Sand Slash. Yeah, Fuck. ground types are the best effective Pokemon against a pure electric <clears throat> type. Especially since, at the moment, Magneton only is one dual type. What is this, Swift thing? Alright. <laughs> I should have thought twice before using Earthquake. Like, it, obviously it took effect, but... Yeah. Magneton floats. Alright, let's see what we have. Kadabra. What is Kadabra weak against? Bug or something? It's a psychic. Kadabra is very weak, is weak against um, bug types, yeah. Bug types are the only ones that could actually take them on. I don't need a notification, Dell. Uh, I didn't catch what you said. There was a sound that interrupted. 
Um, I was saying bug type Pokemon are the only ones that could be able to take on psychic types at the time. Okay, and it doesn't look like I have a bug type. Uh, that's an. Oop. Let's see, uh, Venusaur, Charizard, Pikachu, Dragon Air, Articuno, and uh, Sand Slash. All right, well, this is not gonna go well. Well, maybe not. You might get lucky. If I were you, I would recommend using one of your. Uh, oh fuck! That could actually put up a fight, at least. <laughs> Aside from, of course, Blissey. There we go. Gadaver's been taken care of. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Flareon. Okay, you want to fight fire with fire? Here. Oh, ground types could actually take on a fire type easily. Uh. <coughs> <laughs> well, it's I really my it's Pokemon. Well, it's really just a battle of the original types. That's what it comes down to. Oh, fucking hell. Fire spin. Oh. oh. This yeah, it's one of those attacks where it repeats itself a few times. It's it's annoying. Uh huh. Yeah, I remember this attack. Punch him in the goddamn face. With a mega punch? Yeah. <laughs> Are you fucking uh, serious? What? Okay. Wow. Pikachu died. Oh, it barely did any dent. That's what happened. Oh, no. Oof. Well, then. That happened. I was just careless. Yeah, you say that now. Careless. Right, dude. Right. First, I need a full heal and fix up, um... Because apparently Articuno got poisoned. Uh oh. Uh, oh no! Not the beautiful bird! That's actually one of my favorite legendary birds. Articuno? Yep. It's been my favorite way back. Even right when, uh, during the, uh, when the second movie came out, I was really excited to see that Pokemon. Because <laughs> it was so pretty! As far as my experience go with the uh, the Pokemon movies, um, I pretty much saw the first four. I know that there was one called yeah. Pokemon Heroes. I don't know if that was the fifth or not. Um, give me a minute. Sure. No, Pokemon Heroes is the fifth one, and that's when they introduced Latios and Latios. I okay, I saw clips of those. Um, yes. That's as far as I can remember. Um, I know that there were much, much later entries. The first one, yeah. I always have, um, yeah, Boulder Badge, um, that's right, I had to go through all these little passages that, oh, you require this badge, and you require that badge. Yeah. Uh. But anyway, uh, the first one I have fond memories of when I saw it in theaters. Um, I was very excited when I saw the trailer for it. Like, obviously, it hasn't aged well at all. Um. Of course. But... I loved it for what it was. Yeah. Um, the second one, I didn't have the chance to see it in theaters, but I finally did see it, and while it didn't give me that as much of an impact as the first one, I like that, yeah, that there was a movie about the legendary birds. Oh, yeah. The one of my favorite uh, scenes involving the second one is right close to the end when she starts playing that song and it just went full on orchestra. I started crying. It was that pretty to me. <laughs> I was like, oh, my heart is loving every bit of this. I did finally uh, see the third one during my college years. Like I was handed a, um, a DVD copy and I hear a dog. Yeah. Sorry. The dog is barking again. <sighs> she knows that my mom's about tired. She might go to bed. So yeah, about that. <laughs> Shit. But yeah, um, the second, uh, 
no, the third movie, that's when they introduced the unknown and along with the legendary Pokemon Entei, which was voiced by Dan Green, yes. Hmm. TV is right. The well-known voice actor who not only voiced the later version of Mewtwo, but also is well-renowned of being the voice of Knuckles, the Echidna from the Sonic series. Wait, you mean, and um... Yuki Moto. Do you mean, like, Sonic Boom, or...? More like, um, Sonic X and some of the games during that time period, especially like Sonic and the Black Knight, he voiced those that version of Knuckles. Okay, so there are little block passages around here. But Danny Green also is well known to being the voice of Yugi Moto. Hmm. Especially Yami Yugi. <laughs> Alright, time to use, uh, use strength. What the hell is this? Oh, I know what that is. Pikachu, get out of the way! <laughs> God damn it, I got a Pokemon encounter. Whoops! I hate that every time. Ooh. You know what? I think this is a good time to, like, train a um, common and level them up. Good idea. And while we're at it, um, I believe rock is weak to grass, aren't they? Yes, rock is weak to, is weak to both grass and water types. Okay. Because... Along with ice types as well, so your Articuna would also have a very high advantage against... Uh, yeah, okay, office. that's a good, uh, that's a good time for... You need a lot of pushing. <laughs> Birch, are you talking about, um... Are you talking about having to use the boulders? Because I already know about that. Alright, so boulder has to go on that thing, from what I remember. All right, um, god damn. <laughs> okay, that's an interesting little fun fed season. That's funny. What did season say? Oh, I vividly remember my dad talking about theaters, uh, the Pokemon movie of the unknown. I haven't seen many strange letters since I placed a personal ad. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> Jay said that! they got away with that in the theaters. <laughs> Alright. God damn! I'm barely making a few steps in and another wild Pokemon encounter is here. Fucking hell. Fighting type. Let's see. <laughs> here. Razor Leaf. I mean, it's making some progress with, you know, freaking Comet here. Oh, that was the Japanese uh, version of the movie. Okay, that explains why. <laughs> I love it. All right, uh, use strength. Um, Derek, if I remember correctly, Team Rocket don't get involved after beat Giovanni completely. He's like done when you're on your way to the Elite Four. Right. So that means Team Rocket would stop bothering Goddamn you. Goddamn wild tomorrow. Pokemon encounter. Oh, it's a fucking Zubat. Go fucking piss off. A level 44. Uh, I hate the Zubat. Yeah, they're the most annoying Pokemon to appear. No matter which version, they are the biggest pain in the butt. Wait, it did not... Oh, it's not very effective. Oh... Yeah, because Zubat is a poison and a flying type, so... Alright, well, time to change that. Yeah. The two Pokemon that could easily take out a Zubat is if you had one that knows any electric-related attacks, ice-related attacks, or psychic-related attacks. There. Because they are really weak to psychic types, because poison types can't take on psychics very well. You know, it's weird. I'm taking on these Pokemon that are at a very high level, but they're not gaining that much experience points. That, um, is usually because when, clo especially closer to the, um, to the end of the game, especially since you're this close to encountering the Elite Four, they're not going to gain a lot of, uh, experience points. It's going to be, like, little bits at a time because your Pokemon are already pretty high on levels. I don't need to deal with that. God damn! What? It's another Zubat. Oh, for goodness sake. You, oh, pistol. Hey! Go away, you no one. I'm back! 
Stop the... That, that song could fit no better for these Pokemon. Alright, passageway open. God damn it. <laughs> Jedi, thank you for that little joke. I love that song. Everyone do the Pokemon. <laughs> oh, that was a song from Weird Al Yankovic. Yep, after the second movie. It was right what he was using it as one of his songs for the second movie. It was a fun move. It was a fun song to listen to, too. <laughs> I try to remember. What was he reference? What was he parroting that song from? Ah, darn. I might have to look that up now. Darn it. I know that the I know that song was being parodied by some, like some classic song, but I do not remember the top of my head. 